Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my quest to 200 as we follow along the main storyline of Dofus. And tonight is the night I get that Dofus. Oh, it's been sitting there just teasing me all this time. I am ready to make that happen. And a huge thanks to all of you who have given me some tips and tricks. Basically the big thing that I heard was I need to turn on the fight chat and then Dark Lad will give me a clue as to what he's gonna try to do on the next turn. So I've turned that on all these characters and I'm excited to get this Dofus. If you could do me a huge favor and just smack that like button, show your support, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're new here and you love Dofus PVM tips, guides, and gameplay, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you know exactly when my videos go live. All right, everybody, let's do this. Oh man, here we go. We're just getting right into it. Let's make it happen. Okay. Okay, so he short range. That means he's going to buff his close combat, which he's not going to be able to get to me on this turn anyways. All right. Hits me with that. He didn't cast anything that turn. Okay, so I'm going to hit him with this. Boom. All right, and we'll scoop back some more. I'm going to try to pay attention to what he does. Okay, speed and diagonal. That means he's going to get three MP next turn, and he's going to try to hit me diagonal. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I go here, I should be okay. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and cast this just to heal myself a bit. There's his MP. All right, he cast Clairvoyance. All right, so now I'm going to switch places with him just to get away, keep that distance there. All right, what's he doing now? Speed and diagonal, so he's gonna get his three MP and he's gonna to try to get diagonal with me again. And I don't think, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can get far enough away, but I don't think there's anything I can hit him with. All right, so, but I should be safe because I don't think he'll try to close combat attack since he used his diagonal one. Okay, now he used his short range, so that means on the next turn, he's gonna try to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I should be able to get, one, two, three, and he has two range. Okay, so I should be able to get far enough away. So I'm gonna hit him with this. Here's the moment to find out if I'm understanding this right. He should stop here and not be able to reach me because I'm three spaces away. Let's see if I got it. Okay, diagonal. Look at that, it worked. Ah, oh, Dark Vlad, you're mine. You are mine. Okay, so diagonal. He's gonna try to use that next turn. Um, one, two, three, four. He won't be able to you know what, I'm gonna hit him with this again. I'm gonna scoot on down as far as I can. All right, let's see, short range. Okay, so he's gonna try to do close combat. One, two, three. I can definitely keep my distance. And I get my reverse, or my switch place thing next. I'm gonna use this on myself. Look at that. I'm, go I'm gonna stay right there. Oh, did he hit me with diagonal? I looked away. No, I don't think he did. Okay, he didn't cast anything in particular. So I'm gonna use this. Start running away. See what he does here. Speed, so he's gonna get three MP. That's it, all right. That's fine. One, two, three. All right, if, if I don't need to use this one, I'm not going to yet. I wanna try to hang on to that until I get a situation where he might get really close. Okay, speed and diagonal. So he's gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I go right here, okay, he won't be able to get diagonal to me. So I'm gonna hit him with this. This one's a little more risky because I know he's gonna have the extra MP. Let's see if it works. Because I don't think he'll try to close combat Okay, now this time he has that option and he cast short range. So now I need to use this, get my distance here. 
See, he's going to do one, two, three. Mm, this is going to get me in kind of a pickle. Now, I deliberately chose Greybeard first because he doesn't have the Clairvoyant spell. So I figure if I beat him with this guy, I should be good with the others. Okay, so I'm going to hit him with this. I'll get my switch spell next, which I can use because one, two, three. He's going to get to one of these two spaces. I can switch and then start running the other way. Let's see what's he cast? Speed and diagonal. Okay, this neutralizes him being able to hit me with diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six. He'll probably get right up next to me, but that's okay because he won't be able to hit me diagonal. Okay, he did short range. Okay, he's going to be able to hit me with close range on this turn because I won't be able to get far enough away. But I am going to heal up. Oh man, come on. This is this is going good. Let's let's not mess this up. I got two turns before that one. Here's where clairvoyance would have been great, because I could have used that and then used my MP run away. So but he's gonna get a hit on me here, I think. Yep, there he goes. Okay, got nine hundred back. That's not that's not horrible. What did he cast? Okay, I think this turn I can use this on him. There we go. What we got? Speed and diagonal. Okay. So next turn. Two, three, four, five, six. If I go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he can't quite reach me diagonal. He can get close to me though. Uh I wanna wait until maybe close combat before I try to use that again. Okay, he just cast short range. Okay, this is what I wanted to be careful of. Okay, so one, two, three. If I go here, I'm gonna cast this to move here. One, two, three. Okay, I should be okay. Should be out of range. Because I don't think he did the MP. Oh, this is going well. You know what? I'm gonna use this. I'd rather attack him, but I wanna play it safe. Get where he can't hit me diagonal. One, two, three. Okay, that should be good. Short range. All right, we're gonna just heal up this turn. At least a little bit of health. Okay, I got both my attacks. One, two, three, four. What's the range on this? Oh, I'd have to come down two spaces. And I could leave two spaces. I'm not going to chance it. I think he's tempting me. He's trying to tempt me to come back out there. You ain't going to do it, Dark Vlad. You ain't going to do it. Hit you with that one. See, he casts speed, so he's going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go ahead and run all my spaces. What you got? Speed and diagonal. Okay. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I probably just want to run straight. Oh, this one's a tough call. Because if I stop, he can get diagonal to me. But I'd like to hit him if I'm already gonna... Oh, but now he can get diagonal to me. Oops, I goofed there. Yikes. Oh, that cost me. No, negative 50% resistance to fire. Okay. Now, I gotta run. Okay, it's not over yet. Clairvoyance. Okay, I'm gonna heal up some. It's not over. What's he down to? 2850. Okay, speed and diagonal. One, two. All right, this will neutralize his diagonal spell. Man, that really starts to hurt. Did he did, oh, he did short range. And I have no way, if I had clairvoyance, oh, he's gonna be one hit away and he's probably about to kill me. No, cause he did a short, short range buff. Oh man, I had him one hit, one hit. Ah, oh. well, let's update the scoreboard. Dark flag got another one. Oh, I should have had him. All right, we're gonna do this again. 
Bring it on, Dark Vlad. Okay, so he didn't cast anything. So one, two, three is where he's gonna be. Let's range on this. Okay, he's gonna be just within range. I'm gonna smack him with that. First thing. Uh-oh, speed and diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna be right there. Can he get diagonal? Three, four, five, six. I don't think he's gonna be able to get diagonal to me. Oh man, I hope this doesn't mess things up right at the beginning. Here's his MP. He hit me with that. Oh man, that was nice. Okay, he casts short range and he's gonna have one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna go right here. And my plan is to switch places with him on the next turn. Let's see, okay, yep, he cast diagonal, that's fine. Switch places and run. Okay. Whew. Oh man, that actually worked out pretty good. All right. So he didn't cast anything. Do I want to hit him? I want to hit him. Since I know he's not doing anything special this turn, I want to get a hit on him. Okay. Speed and short range. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he's gonna be able to hit me. Okay, well, let's put this on. Hopefully, I know the diagonal thing makes me, lowers my resistance to fire. I'm hoping that close combat doesn't. Let's see. Oh, it does. Oh, I am not happy about that. Okay, he only cast clairvoyance, so we'll go with this. I don't like it when he gets those resistance issues on me. Okay, speed and diagonal. Uh, man. I got a feeling he's going to be able to get diagonal to me. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, man. I was so close on that first fight. Now it's all just falling apart. I actually forgot to hit the record button. This is my third time fighting him with Greybeard here. Okay. Where I get in trouble is where I try to speed up the fight. I'm like, oh, well, I'll go ahead and do this or do that. And I got to remember to take it slow. But I'm always nervous that if I take it too slow, something's going to goof and he's going to get me. All right, I've almost unlocked all my spells again. My cooldowns are all wearing off because he's not lining up with me. Okay. Uh, he casts speed. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go here. Speed and diagonal. Okay, this at least disables his diagonal attack for the turn. Short range. Okay, I'm gonna hit him with this. Because I don't think he'll be able to reach me with a short range. Okay. Diagonal. Oh, man. He's going to whittle me away. Oh, I didn't realize he could back up. There's no rain. I thought he had to be close to me to do that. Well, that's nice to know. <laughs> Update the scoreboard. Let's go again. Okay. I liked how things started. Okay, he picked diagonal as his first three, but he won't be able to get diagonal with me. I can come up here, one, two, three, and get my first hit on him. I can see where clairvoyance really plays a role because that helps you in those moments where he did, you know, a back-to-back -back combination that you can't get away from. So I understand where that can be extremely valuable. Okay, so he just cast short range and speed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be one space short. So I'm gonna use this to get all the way to here. It should keep that from happening. And then is it gonna use diagonal? Nope, short range and MP again. Well, this time I can use this and run away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. See, like right there, 
there's literally nothing I could have done to keep from getting hit on this next turn. If I had clairvoyance, because that was a back-to-back, -back, you know, MP and close combat, uh, clairvoyance would have allowed me to at least skip one of those turns. So I see the value in the clairvoyance. Oh, sweet, he didn't do it. Oh, he didn't cast the... I thought he cast his um, MP that turn. Okay, well, he didn't cast anything special, so we're going to go this route. Okay, whew, that worked out really well. Okay, speed and diagonal, which I now know he can run as far this way as he wants to to try to get diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he won't be able to pull it off. I thought there was like a, a three square range to, uh, set on that or something, but... Okay, diagonal again. So I can hit him with this. Come straight down. Because he won't be able to get diagonal to me. Okay, cool. He did not cast anything specific. Let's see. I get I get my switch move here on the next turn. Which I'm going to use that to get away. Because he'll come down here. I can switch places with him and take off that way. That's the plan. Speed and short range. Is that going to be enough spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, nope. He's still going to be able to hit me. Yikes. Oh, but he doesn't. I'm. That's twice now. I think he could have. I wonder if he doesn't do it if you're eight spaces away. Or maybe that clairvo... Does this thing disable the diagonal? Oh, and the sword one. Oh, okay. Okay. That's nice to know. I didn't realize that disabled both. Because that's, that's two times I... Well, the first time, I guess, he actually didn't cast the MP spell, even though I thought he did. Speed and diagonal. I go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think he's going to be able to reach me. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he can't. So I'm going to hit him. Short range. Okay, no MP buff. Um, okay, I gotta use this. Go all the way over here. A little nervous about this setup, though. What's he cast? Short range again? That's not good. One, two, three. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do anything to get away from this. All right, I'm gonna hit him. <sighs> but there's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do from this one. Just take it. Take it like a man. Okay, did he cast? Okay, he cast diagonal. So I'm going to put this and run this way. Okay, he didn't cast anything particular, so come down here. Put some HP on. Alright. This one's not over yet. This one's still got some possibility. Okay, so he's going to get his MP buff, but he didn't cast anything extra. So we're going to go this and just run. Speed and diagonal this time. Is there anywhere I can run? I can't get diagonal. Let's see if I come here. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Oh. One, two, three, four. There's nowhere I could have went. There's nowhere I could have went on that one. There is definitely some luck involved. Oh, and now he just cast short range. Oh, I got a feeling this one's over. Go ahead and do your thing there, Dark Lad. Man. Oh, that's nuts. There's, there's just at times there's just nothing you can do. It's it's very RNG based, depending on what he rolls. See, it would be different if we had moves that we could do to counteract, like to force him to have to pick certain things, and we could pick our turns to make him do certain things. But because we have a standard cooldown on all of our moves, and we have no idea what he's going to roll each turn, there, there's really 
all you can hope for is that you don't make a mistake to the best of your ability when you do have control and just hope that he doesn't roll anything that you can't control. I think that makes sense, but oh man, this guy's tough. And to think if I had clairvoyance on Greybeard, I would have beat him on that first first round. There's no way I wouldn't have beat him on that first round. Oh, okay. Here we go again. Dark Vlad, put up a good fight, buddy, but it's gonna happen. That's right, baby. I got my streaming juice. It's happening tonight. What you cast him first? Diagonal first. Okay, and you can't get diagonal to me, so I'm coming right here. I'm gonna hit you with this. Short range. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, he won't be able to reach me. So eat this. Boom! Spitting right in your face, buddy. All right, so what you got? Okay, you didn't cast anything that turn. I'm gonna go ahead and hit you again. In the face! One, two, three. All right, what you doing, what you doing? Speed and diagonal. Okay, I'm gonna have to run. Here we go. I wonder if I should be trying to go around this thing, if that's a way to kind of keep him from being able to do some diagonal attacks. Okay, he didn't do anything special, so we're gonna come up here and do a heal. Look at that, Dark Vlad, I got full health, and you don't. Okay, speed and short range. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he can hit if I hit right there, so. But I don't want to get myself into a corner. I'm going to run one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm coming this way. And I'm going to go up that way. Instead of backing myself into this corner, I'm going to see if this helps in some way. What you doing? Diagonal. Okay, that's fine. I think. Let's hit you with that. One, two, if I go here, one, two, three, he can get diagonal to me there. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm really in the corner. I don't think I like this, especially since I don't have my swappy move, but I don't think he can get diagonal to me. Okay, just cast short range. One, two, three. Okay, I won't be able to get far enough away, but I can hit him on my way out. Oof. Okay, he didn't cast anything, so I'm not going to swap with him yet. All right. Okay, speed and short range. This is where it would really stink if I didn't have some way to disable that. Okay, so he'll still be able to get next to me, but he won't be able to hit me with that close combat thing. All right, I'm going to cast that on. Come this way. This is really weird. I'm playing a side of the map that I haven't tried before. Okay, speed and diagonal. Uh, if I go this way, you know what? I think because he's going to have to go through there, he won't be able to get diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think, I think I screwed up his little diagonal attack. Okay, just put on diagonal again. Let's hit you with this. If I come here, one, two, three. That's diagonal to there. If I go straight three spaces, one, two, three. Oh, I hate not getting as far away from him as possible, but if I go one more space, I think he can get diagonal to me. I think here he can't. Oh, he is right on top of me. Oh my goodness, short range and speed. Okay, here comes here comes another big one. But I can use this to disable his sword attack. Try to get out this way. Yep, I know what you're gonna do. Okay, put on short range again, and he'll be able to hit me this turn. There's nothing I can do about it. He's gonna get a hit on me. I'm gonna come this way, put this on for some health. 
but this way I can force him through here again for maybe messing up a diagonal attack. Oh, I hate those turns where I can't do anything about it, and he just got a big chunk of health back. All right, go and come down this way. You know, it would almost even still be okay if they didn't stack the negative resistance on you, like an extra form of punishment. Okay, he got speed. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think he's gonna have to go through that hole and I don't think he's gonna be able to reach me. Oh, yes. Oh, I needed that. Okay, he didn't put anything on, so I'm gonna hit him with this and run. I've got this spell still just waiting here. I'm about to get that one back. Oh, come on, speed and diagonal, speed and diagonal. Here we go. Okay, do this to disable the diagonal attack. I still got three turns though before I can do another attack attack. Okay, just put on short range. That's okay, I got this this turn. Come up here. I'm gonna put on my regeneration this turn. And let's see, I wanna go out this way. Oh, maybe guys, maybe if I can use this one, this next turn, one, two, three. One, two, three. and then use that on the following turn. He didn't cast anything. Oh man, this might be it. This might be it. Oh, come on, come on. Oh man, I can't get too loud because my family's sleeping. But ah, oh, I did it! I did it! Oh yeah! Oh, Whew. And look at that! I even sealed a bonus. That's right. I got a challenge on you, Dark Vlad. You ain't nothing. You ain't. You ain't nothing. <laughs> oh, that's exciting! Oh man, look! I turned him into a little blueberry or red berry. Oh, boy. Maybe I shouldn't be drinking a stream juice right now, because that right there, that got me pretty excited. Oh, Galtard. Whew, I'm breathing heavy. All that running around, that got me. Oh, man, goodness, I got one. I got one, I got one, I got one, I got one, I got one. I got one. Okay. Whew, calm down. I've been excited about doing this, getting this for a very long time. And that was with the hardest character, hopefully. The other three will hopefully go easier because I got the clairvoyance thing. I'm not going to make you guys watch all four rounds of this because you guys know it's, it's basically the same thing. But oh my goodness. We did it. We did it, old Greybeard. Oh, we did it. And he was the one with the missing scale. Okay. Goltard, he looks impressive. Does this guy say anything yet? I'm happy to be rid of that hooded cloak. It was making me itchy. Oh yeah, I, that's Marina. What, what? Marina was here? I mean, I saw the cloak and stuff. I didn't realize that was her. Wait a second, on my other characters, it just says Hooded Witch. Hmm, well that's pretty cool. Goltard. Finally, I'm free and I owe it all to you. Realize that the person before you is Goltard, the greatest warrior in the Cosmos. Oh, that's pretty exciting. Oh my goodness. I know that there's the tournament thing that can take place. I think it's a Coliseum thing. And I know I've seen that name with that. This is my first time kind of seeing here, seeing him here as part of the story. That's cool. From now on, I'll follow a different path than Dark Vlad. A huge part of my hatred has left me along with him. 
I'm still Galtard, the Barbarian, but I will no longer be responsible for the actions of my evil double. That was a difficult burden to bear. By beating Dark Vlad, you've won the right to take the Emerald Dofus. Well, he didn't sound all excited about it. I did. <laughs> I've no use for it anymore, and it's got too many bad memories attached to it. Ain't gonna have bad memories for me. Gaze at the Dofus and notice that Marina is watching you. Yeah, what's she doing here? I'm happy to be rid of that hooded cloak. It was making me itchy. Ask for an explanation. Yes, the villainous dark witch was me. A little ruse to get close to Dark Vlad Incognito and make sure that he'd be there when I wanted him to be. It worked, didn't it? All's well that ends well. Have so many questions that your reply is a stream of incomprehensible babbling. <laughs> well, my stream jokes alone could make it that. Now, don't ruin everything. Do you want to tire the reader with a long and fiducious explanation? No, you're an adventurer. Action more benefits you. And you got what you wanted, didn't you? The Emerald Dofus is there waiting for you. Take a step towards the Dofus. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like I want to click it, but. Oh. Yeah, I want to click that. Oh my goodness, we got the achievement, we got the dofus, we got a level. I'm a little pumped tonight. Who would have thought when I started this that episode 35 was going to be such an epic episode? Look at that. Main quest 18%. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there it is. There it is. Bloop. Oh my goodness. So my plan is to put it in place of that trophy. Now granted, this is 320, but this is 200, and then I get the shield bonus that will be activated from time to time. So I think it's a worthy trade-off. Oh my goodness, and I think there's an emote that comes with that too, right? Oh my goodness! Show it off, old Greybeard. Show it off, buddy. You're the first one to get it, and you earned it. Huh, that's exciting. And I believe that concludes... Let's see, time to leave this place. Are you ready? Oh wow, she took us straight here. Okay, well, before I go in there to see what else she has to say, I'm going to knock that out with the other three team members so the whole squad is here. It'll be a quick swoosh for you guys, even though it might be a crazy little while for me. There it is, folks. Oh, my goodness. And here's the final score. Would you believe it? After beating him with Greybeard, I beat Dark Vlad all three times in a row after that. You could say that once I beat him, it was four times in a row I beat him. He's very simple once you understand how it works. And after I beat him the two times in a row, I felt confident enough. I actually recorded the footage. I'm going to put together my own uh, Dark Vlad guide on how to beat him with my tips and tricks in there as well. And that video will be coming out a little bit later for those of you who maybe have not beat him yet. And you're looking for my little suggestions on how to do it. And you get to watch me actually with smoking go through the process of beating him live right there, first try and everything. So it went so smooth. I understand how he works. It, it's almost a shame that now if I wanted to fight Dark Flat again, I would have to take characters through all those quests to go up and uh, take him on again. But look at that. I've got four Emerald Dofus. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is amazing. All right, and if we take a look at our quests here again, main quest line look at that we've knocked out the first four man to think all of that worked so far and it's only the first four look at all okay there's a few have knocked out down there okay these have to do with some other stuff but that's really awesome so deep crimson is the next one to go for 80 power and that's cool because the uh the power trophy i typically have on my characters so it would be nice to be able to replace that trophy on them with an actual Dofus. 
Oh my goodness, that's exciting. Should we start the Crimson Dofus quest line before I wrap this up? I'm assuming it, it starts here with Marina because I think she already kind of hinted at the fact that she had more information. Right there, talk about Crimson, Turquoise, Orc, Ivory, Ebony. Oh my goodness, look at all those Dofuses. Oh, let's see what she has to say for the Crimson because that's the next one we're going for. And keep an eye on my Twitter account. If you don't follow me already at Benjamite Game, go over there and follow me because I'm going to be placing another poll on there at some point asking which Dofus to go for next. I've got three picked out and you'll be able to go there and place your vote on what you want me to go for after the Crimson. It is one of the six primordial Dofus. For what we know, the fire dragon egg is supposed to be guarded by the Minotaur, a tar war chief trapped inside an ancient maze. Do you want to become the new Dofus guardian? You're going to have to find your way through the maze and defeat the Minotaur. Say that we're ready to confront the terrible creature. Man, I haven't fought in that dungeon in forever. I didn't realize that we would have to go there. For some reason, I'm thinking that that is where, before the quest line started, that's where you maybe had to go to get the random drop. They used to have the Dofuses with the super ultra low drop rate. And maybe that's where you had to go to try to drop that. I don't remember. Brute force won't be enough to get what you're looking for. A long time ago, a powerful Tor sorcerer wrote a spell book. He transcribed many spells onto the pages of the book. One of the magical formulas allow you to reveal that which is hidden. This is something you'll need to know if you want to succeed in your quest. Where do we find it? I've never been able to get a hold of the Book of Taurus, but I do know there are several copies of it. Visit the big libraries in the World of Twelve to see if they can point you in the right direction. With a bit of luck, you'll manage to find out who currently has a copy of the book. Leave to interrogate the librarians. <laughs> oh boy, there we go, folks. We have picked it up. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, that is such a big accomplishment. Well, that's where we're going to wrap up this video because I feel like that's a good conclusion to a episode. It's the wrapping up of a story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again for all your support. In the next episode, we're going to pick right up there with the Crimson Dofus and start going through that story, reading the NPCs, and finding out the lore behind that one. This was exciting. Thanks for being on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, you all be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>